Hello, this is Ian with ISL Photo LLC. I'm here in Studio One uh, bringing to you the unboxing of the Nikon Z7. I'm really excited this direction that Nikon's finally uh, admitted they need to uh, pursue uh, to compete with other brands like Sony who are pretty invested in the mirrorless market already. So. Now I may not be carrying a uh, lens as heavy as the Zeiss Otis when I'm in my personal endeavors, which often include mountain climbing. I might go for a lighter lens, you know, when I'm in the Cordillera Blanca, 20,000 feet in snowy conditions with my friends. You kind of want to travel as light as you can. I typically shoot with the D850, which has been an absolutely awesome camera. I am actually using it to film this unboxing. So I'm certainly not giving up on mirrored cameras. I feel they still have a lot to offer. The D850 has been a tremendous camera for me. I've gotten some really, really great travel shots. I just recently climbed Kilimanjaro with my friends at the Little Rock Climbing Center. You want to minimize the amount of weight and gear that you're carrying with you because you have a lot of considerations as you're going up the mountain. And so hopefully the Z7 mirrorless camera will give me a lighter system that will enable me to incorporate full frame uh, mirrorless technology as I get to higher and higher peaks and really be able to bring the heart of the image, as Nikon would say, to my viewers. Without further ado, we'll go ahead and begin our unboxing process and take a look at this new body. I got the Nikon Z7 mirrorless camera body here from B&H Photo. They were really good to ship to me quickly. I pre-ordered pretty much the first day it was available. Uh, I knew that it'd probably be a sought after item and after I ordered the D850 and waited quite some time to get it shipped to me, I realized you need to be quick on the draw. So uh, thankfully they were really great to get it to me on time and I'll be able to get used to using this body in my work before I head back down to South America, hopefully this winter. Also, I got the F to Z adapter that Nikon has produced that will allow me to use the Z7 body with my library of F-mount lenses, which I and every other Nikon shooter has invested heavily in. So let's go ahead and open it up. our camera body, which I can already tell you is significantly smaller than the D850. Granted, I have a grip on my D850. The battery grip has not yet been released for the Nikon Z7, but it's light and very compact. And here is our F to Z mount adapter. You can see that the Z mount side is quite a bit larger than the F mount. I've just been playing around with the Nikon Z7 mirrorless body. I happen to be using my Zeiss Otis 85 with the F to Z mount adapter right now. I'm kind of getting used to the Nikon Z7. It, you can tell it's a Nikon for sure with the way the body's laid out. It's uh, very intuitive. The menus aren't too confusing so far. I haven't really gotten down in depth with it, but I'll I'll continue to work on it and update y'all with my progress. 
Yeah. One of the nifty features I've, I've noticed so far is the LCD screen on the back is displays when the camera's turned on. And then when I put my eye up to the electronic viewfinder, it automatically switches over without me having to do anything at all. I definitely noticed the size difference. It's much smaller in the palm of my hand, even though I got a big piece of glass on it right now. I'll probably travel with something lighter than the Zeiss Otis. So the weight savings will definitely benefit me while I'm out mountain climbing. I think that will be a huge benefit. I haven't really got to shoot any action or sports or anything like that, but I'm interested to see the autofocus points. There's like 400 some odd autofocus points on this camera, so it should be pretty awesome when it comes to action photography. If you can stay tuned in to my Instagram page, ISL Photo LLC. Uh, you can kind of see see my progress. We can learn about it together as other Nikon shooters figure out ways to utilize this mirrorless technology with their library of lenses. So I'm, I'm pretty excited for the future of photography in general and uh, the Nikon brand specifically casting their hat in the ring of uh, mirrorless cameras.